Good morning. Good morning to you. And we are in sunny Margate this morning. It's lovely and Just sunny. having a look around to see what it's like. The sea looks beautiful. Yeah. Lovely and um, we always far. park just before Margate, don't we? Yes. So it's free parking and we actually then just walk along the seafront into Margate. So let's see what it's on offer. It's nice to see there's a lifeguard on the beach. So we made it into Margate about 15, no, 10 minutes? Yeah, about 10 minutes, not, not much more. 10 minutes and this is the first look at the Margate beach. As we said, they're expecting storms today so it's not gonna get that busy. As you can see, it's a pretty big beach, and when the tide goes out, there is a pool to actually go into. Mm. One of the only pools I think I've ever seen. On the beach. Yeah. On the beach, yeah. But anyway, let's carry on. So there is a station here. The station comes from Victoria, doesn't it? And that's where that's it's that's the train station there. Train. That's where we was a second ago. So you can see the statue. There is a premier in here if you want to stay overnight. It's plus a number of little guest rooms and like that here, isn't there? If you would like to know why we take a 10 minute scenic walk, walk along the actual beach, it's because all day parking is nine pounds. It's a nice walk along the beach and you save your money for the other things. Definitely lots of things to spend your money on here, isn't there? Definitely. On to Dreamland, yeah? Yeah. On to Dreamland. Which is there? earlier times. So we tried to go into Dreamland but it's not open until 11, 11 o'clock. So we have a quick look at the beach to see what this is like. The colour of the sand is lovely. It's lovely golden colour sand isn't it? And it's so soft. And it's so really, and yeah it's so soft so and sort of, it's yeah. It's a very clean beach. Right, just pick that up to see how fine that sand is, babe. It's really fine, isn't it? And it looks as if they must clean the beach because there's like tractor marks on it. So they must clean the beach regular intervals, I would say, in the open season. And we've got the seagulls. But now this is... A very very nice beach surprisingly for England actually dreamland over there amusements fish bar clock tower it's nice and the sun's still out it's, it's lovely which is quite good it's a really really nice temperature yeah it's, it's a bit blurry yeah. but the te it's best but they did say as numbers. I keep saying thunderstorms are a coming we the Australian, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We seem to go places and get thunderstorms. <laughs> I like, I like But anyway, let's carry on with the tour. As you can see, there is it's quite kiddie quiet amusements. At the moment on here. It's very it's quiet, really but it is only it's 10 30. So, yeah, nice. Very expensive. What is it? 50 pence. But that's about 50 years old. Oh. I know, it used to be one pence. <laughs> Some of the things coming up at Dreamland. Out 
when it was Cal, when is it? 28th of October. 28th of October? Maybe we'll come along? Or are we away? No, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Okay. Maybe we'll pop along. So let's go through. Should be opening pretty soon. There is an actual arcade here, as you can see. This is why they don't open to they open the doors at 10.30, but they leave you here half hour. So as you can see there is an arcade. Spend your money. And also a little calf gets something to eat. A roller disco. Which Carol's gonna find out the price for now. An hour. So what is it? An hour. They do an hour, and how much? Five pounds a person. Five pounds a person. Pound okay then, pound. thank you. So we're still waiting for the park to actually open. About five minutes. This is yeah. where you wait. That's the scenic railway. And that is the scenic railway. Our first look at the scenic railway and the first look at the big wheel. Something free <laughs> in Margate. It's like a party hire, doesn't it? The, the programme. They're going to do an ID hire then, babe. <laughs> so dead at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, the actual park opens. You look at this, makes you go dizzy at the end doesn't it? <laughs> Let's go through. So as soon as you come into the park you're it with the tokens, one token is £3 or 20 tokens for £40 which is pretty steep but you got a couple of children. You've got children, it's going to cost you some money. Let's have a quick look around at what we're here. Two pound or one token. So if one token's three pound, it's better to pay two pound, isn't it? True, yeah. Hey? yeah. An old ghost train, babe. I think that's In the centre of the park is where the band is, or the bands are. And this is here, area. Which is quite a nice venue. We actually come here to see. Who did we see here? Um, the Beach Boys. The Beach Boys, yeah. or the Beach Boys, should we say? Yeah, well. So you can actually get things to eat here. It's a really, really brilliant yeah, stage. Really yeah, we had a really good evening watching the Beach Boys. Yeah, we really did. If you're coming to one of the venues, this is a really good venue here because normally they let you just walk around, have a drink, and, and just enjoy yourself. Really, really good. There's a bar here. And these are the current prices as of August. So it is just cards only here. Cards only, which I remember from last time. You've got to have your dodgums at the seaside. And what is this, babe? Crazy golf. Crazy golf. Crazy golf. It looks quite good, doesn't it? Yeah. And in the distance? The smallest roller coaster in the world. <laughs> that looks fun. There's a maze and there's a carol. 
can't believe, remember we had little kids, <laughs> our, our children used to like watching this. And what is this here? Carol's just fan? Pick and mix machine. Pick and mix. Big car pony 3.70. And you just push which one you want. Yeah, you have 30 big... seconds to make your selection. Oh, is that a big cup as such? No, not that big a cup. When you look at it, £3.70 for a cup of sweets. Hello everyone, oh, it's the Sutty Show. <laughs> Turn in the coin and make it go. You're already going. <laughs> They're already going. <laughs> oh. Little mini train for the little ones. Hi. So it's not open. It's broken. Oh, it's broken. It's not going to be up and running for at least a couple of weeks. Oh, right. So that will say. Oh, that's a shame. So we did want to go on that. That is one of the oldest roller coasters in the country, isn't it? But not today. Not today. Unfortunately. So and you can you see do the want item. To ride it, don't come for a couple of weeks. <laughs> no. And today is August. It's now August the 26th today. 26. So you're two weeks' time. Well, that's what you said. Okay, little kiddie rides here. Bumblebee. And the little busy bee. busy bee coaster. Which, this is more of a park for the little ones, isn't it? I'd say up to yeah. around about seven, something like that. Yeah, it's kind of busy adult. It used to be like an adult, but it's more for the, for your little ones up to about seven years old. I think after that, they may be getting a little bit bored of it, but. No. Then. You reckon? Yeah. yeah. yeah well, you've seen the ride, so you decide. But there you go. Dreamland timeline. <laughs> so that was our quick look at Dreamland in Margate. Let's move on to the rest of Margate now, yeah? As you can see, it's got a little bubble machine as you're going in. I don't know if you're picking that up on the camera, but there's little bubbles everywhere. Okay. Okay then. Let's carry on with Margate Tour. They do supply lockers here, but as you can see, they're three pounds for one-use only lockers. Five. So it's 11:25 now. As you can see, the beach has started to fill up a little bit. Still looks very inviting, doesn't it? That beach it does. looks very, very inviting. It's nice and warm. And it's quite a nice warm day, yeah. Very warm. And the clock tower to confirm it 11.25. Okay, spot the people that have food. Just look for the seagulls. Because <laughs> they will circle anybody that's got food. They'll be your friends forever. And they will be your friends forever. <laughs> Talking of food. Let's go. Shall we go and get something to eat? Yes, I think fish and chips are all doing. Fish and chips, okay then. Let's try a fish and chip shop. We recommend that bar up there, don't we? I do. The Sundowners. Yes. Sitting up there, and you actually get a view of this. It gets pretty popular, pretty busy. But if you do manage to get a table up there, we recommend going there because we've been there a number of times. And they do a pinned teapot. Is they used they teapot? used to do a yeah. yeah that was last year. We've not been here for about a year. Teapot and it's full of pins. Yeah. And it's delicious. So yeah. So try it out. As I said, that was a year ago. Hopefully, it's the same. Number of little places to eat here. But as we said, we want to try fish and chips. So that's what we're going to try. We're going to Peter's. It's supposed to be the best fish and chips in Margate, TripAdvisor. So let's check it out. Peter's Fish Factory. This should be good because there is always a line for the fish and chips here. Prices. So they should know what they're doing. Okay, how much was it? Thirteen seventy. Thirteen seventy. Okay. So we sit on the 
across the road? Yeah, let's get on the yeah? beach. Yeah. Okay then, let's go back. Should we sit just here, babe? Yeah? yeah? So let's have a look, how what our fish and chips looks like. Let me hold this forks in case they fly okay. away. Ready. All the chips. This is a large cotton chip. That's a large so cotton chip, is it? Yes. Yeah. Just. It looks a bit what undercooked, it? doesn't it? Would you say or not? I don't know. I'll tell you when I taste it. Chips, are, they look undercooked to me. They're a bit light, but, but just where the, it could be just a potato. They're very tasty. Mm. They are tasty, yeah. Are they? But they're not crunchy. What do you think? They're not undercooked. They're, they're, they're pot cookly, bit... but they're not. I like, I like a like crispy chip. They're very tasty. They're soft, aren't they? They're, 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 quite nice. they're very soft. Right. Let's have a little bit of fish. So. Yeah, it's, it's like a soft, soft batter, isn't it? Probably where it's so fresh, I reckon. It's not overcooked yet. Mmm. We're making a few friends here. Oh, that is nice. Mmm. Mmm. As you can see, we're making friends. Mm, that is very nice. Very nice. That batter is very, it's, it's crunchy, it's got a lot of taste to it. And the fish is very tasty as well. I'm, I'm going to nick your fish. Go on, I broke it up for you, why not? There you go, let's try the fish. It's a big bit of fish as well, I don't think that's bad for the price for a seaside. No? No, I don't think it's bad at all. Mm -mm. The fish is cooked nice, it is, it is a good fish and chips. It's not the best fish and chips I've ever had in my life, but it is... A good fish and chips. I've had some bad fish and chips, haven't we? We have, but that is I think that's really nice. Yeah. I think that's one of the best anyway. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating it before you do. <laughs> but no. The batter's cooked gorgeously. Mm. Mm. That was a nice crispy bit of batter. Sorry? That was a really nice crispy bit of batter I got. Mm. The edges of it is really crispy. And light. Yeah. Mm. But no. So let us just carry on. Enjoy our meal. Mm. We'll leave you some at the end. We don't want to, but we will leave you some. <laughs> In Carol's eyes to, to open the can, no. she broke off the tab. You broke the tab, not me. That wasn't me. It you, wasn't was me. You. Don't wasn't lie. Me. Don't fib yourself. Go on. It's <laughs> <laughs> so like we can't get a can, drink. <laughs> Anyone got a tin opener? <laughs> Hold on, it's going to go. Go on then. You I try. Think. You try. I don't just get it on your chips. I just don't know it my fingers. Okay, you did it, babe. I did it. Carol to the rescue. Carol to the rescue. Okay. Now, anyway, I'm going to carry on my fish and chips. That is quite a big bit of fish, isn't it? Very big. Very big fish. And as Carol said, it was £13 with the Coke. I dropped it. £13.70 with the Coke. Okay, okay. I'm going to go. And we're into it. We've got into it. That is a very tasty bit of fish. Very nice. So the girls are getting none of our fish. Oh. Let's see. Oh, now you've got to feed them all, ain't you, babe? Go on. Well, they didn't even pest you until you fed one of them. <laughs> they don't pest you. They don't pest you at all until you feed them. Oh, bless them. Oh. Well, at the end, we'll just mix them up and we'll throw some down for them, yeah? Yeah, you break them up. But I'm carrying on with it because I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> really enjoyed that. Go on, keep throwing, babe. And the one up the top there. Right at the top there. Oh my god. <laughs> What's your verdict on Peter's fish and chips? 
it was, I'd really recommend it. It was really nice. It was, very nice. yeah, you can see why it's number two fish place. The other, the other number one trip advisor when I looked at it was like more like a pub restaurant, I think. Oh. So that's a proper fish and chip. So it is number one. Yeah. But no, it's really, really, really enjoyed nice. it. Really did. And don't take our word from it. Always go for the locals. Yeah, there's plenty of them. <laughs> and so far, the rain stayed away. So, out of ten, I'd give that nine. I'll give it a nine as well. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'll give it an eight point five nine. I'd say it, it is really tasty. It's you'd prefer it to be crispier, wouldn't I'd you? I prefer it to be crispier, and it was very, very like fatty, wasn't it? There's a lot oily, of fat, oily, oily is the word, yeah, oily is the word. But no, did enjoy it and recommend it. Definitely. So we're just walking on to the pier at the moment. And there's one thing that really it's because the tide's actually gone out now and all the like seaweed and everything sort of comes this way. So when you're here, look at that. What is the thing that itch you here, babe? The stink. The stink. It smells here. It does. It's horrible, horrible smell. It's like a well, it's like a stagnant sewers, isn't it? Yeah. So obviously, when the when the tide's in, that all gets washed away, and you're okay. It's only this part. The the beach. The rest of it is there. It's just this part here. Yeah. Not very nice. Smelly. Very smelly. <laughs> but apart from that, Margate's been pretty nice. As you can see over in the background is Dreamland right over there. And that's where we parked the car, we walked along all along here. Peter's fish and chips is just there. And yeah. So it's all within easy reach once you get here, isn't it? And just walking along the pier here, there's one or two little shops or restaurants. Right, we must say we just literally walked just from there, there to here and the smell's totally gone there isn't it so where these like restaurants are or art museums studios, studios. Yeah. Thanks, but, yeah, as you can see it's okay to look around um. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a yes yeah <laughs> thank you as you can see it's a little studio here. Yeah. Very, very nice little paintings. Very nice little paintings. They're all painted by the same person. Apparently, they're all painted by the same person. Every time I paint, I throw myself into water. But no. Yeah, it's like a little studio. Yeah, it's a little studio. But no. Very nice. A very nice person showed us around. Recommend these photo, these pictures. And very good. Right, thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, this is quite nice. Pictures are a little bit out of our price range, wasn't they, babe? A lot out of our price range, but they're very, very good. Yeah. But you can see there's a number of little bars and restaurants and places to go. And you can also see that the actual clouds are coming in and the predicted storm is on the way. As you can see the tide is going out like I said it's getting pretty windy now but people are in the actual water and it's very nice here. End of the pier. Should we quickly try to look around the Turner? Yes. Yeah? But it looks nice. I like to see people in the water, don't you? Yes. Enjoying themselves. Yes, it costs you nothing to go into the water. And it costs water. nothing at all to go into the water, as my wife said. And, and the enjoyment that you're And the enjoyment they get. You don't have to spend money just to go to the seaside here. But it, there is the ways to spend your money if you want to. You don't have to go back past the shops or restaurants. You can actually go walk up the stairs, walk along and take in the views. Look at the views are beautiful, aren't they? Look. Margate is a very nice place. Onward would at all. Onward and upwards. 
I can't really do modern art, but we do do free entry. Oh, <laughs> Let's have a little look around. So when you first come in here, it's a big hall. Can you get it? Nice photo opportunity looking through that window. Should we go upstairs? Why not? And the exhibition. We just don't get it, do we, babe? I don't. Don't get it. Maybe don't get it. Up. No. <laughs> don't really do modern art, but everyone's to their own. As long as you get enjoyment out of it, that's the main thing. That the main that's the main thing, thing in life, isn't it? Like yeah. Should we go on? <laughs> yeah, babe. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're okay. Okay. Yeah, we. We don't really get it, do we, though? No, no, I like to see the lights. Yeah, like, I know so people can look into it and they can see other things from it, but for us, it don't. For me, it's just the same as your dress, really. <laughs> but there again. You have my, my dress on. I'm uneducated. I don't know what I'm looking at. If you get no, something out of it. it, it yeah. We're not artists. Okay. Should we have a little quick look around? Yeah, the old town market. Let's have a look in here, yeah, babe? I have no idea what's inside here. It's like a little unusual shops, isn't it? You have what? Red okay. Fortune teller. Fortune teller. You used to always come to the beach for fortune telling, didn't you? Yeah, didn't tell me much though. No, that's where you end up with me. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Get off we go. <laughs> and back into the daylight. Interesting, babe. Very, very quirky in there, wasn't it? Yeah. We didn't buy nothing, but it was. So let's have a little look around the. Well, the town centre of Margate, yeah? Yes, yeah. that's where we're heading. That's where we're heading, somewhere down here. Lots of little quirky shops, I would call them, wouldn't you? Yeah, oh, And there's a market, oh my god. Oh, a market. This could be costly, this could be costly. Let's have a look around market. <laughs> it's nice to see it like this. Very nice to see it like this. Hell, some shoes for you. <laughs> There is a Morrison's here, yeah. so you can always just pick yourself up a meal deal, go and sit on the beach and have a cheap day. Yep, 
if you feel like that. Always got to have some seafood. Thank you. So this is Jelly Deals, which is an eel jellied up. Yeah? Yeah. It is, isn't it? That's what it is. Yeah. You can't go wrong with that. It's in the description. <laughs> and what does it taste like, babe? It's not much really taste to it. It's no. more a case of um, it's a dressing, vinegar. It, yeah, it's like the um, chilli vinegar or the pepper. And that's what really get the yeah. texture of it's a bit yeah, not, um, weird. Yeah. It's, I can't really explain. No, it's, it's not really fishy taste or anything. No, I like the jelly bear. Mm. I can get the jelly much. Mm. Mm. You go. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. It's nice. It's and it's one nice. of our traditions. We come it's to the beach, we have seafood. So how much was this? Six pound fifty. Six pound fifty. Mm. Which ain't bad really. Ain't bad. And am I right in thinking that this seafood stall is open all year round? I think it is. I think it is because we've been here in the middle of winter time when it's no it's one here at all. We've seen it closed. Yeah, yeah, very occasionally. So that seafood stall is open and it's got their family run business since 1962. So what did you buy? I can't hear you that far away. Yeah? They're a pound each. They're a pound each. And we always go in this shop because just after Covid we was actually visiting Margate. It's just opening up and we was walking along here and the lady inside come out and offered us free Coca-Colas because she hadn't sold them. They was going out of date and she'd just give us some free. And that was nice of her. And we pound back by literally coming to this shop every time and buying something. Don't we? So they're quite friendly folk here. Yes, very friendly. Right, so that's the end of our mini infield vlog, Margate. Yeah, yeah, it's been a nice day. It's been a nice day. Hopefully you got something out of it to see what Margate's a little bit like. Yeah, so we only saw snippets of it really. There's a lot to do here. There's a lot to do here. We just showed you little bits of what it's like here. It's it's quite nice. It's, it's not nice. it's not nice when the beach goes out. See, not the beach goes out, the sea goes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it wrong. I did get it wrong, yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you. And until the next one, our little infill ones until we go away. We'll see you again soon. See you soon. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>